All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another new video here on the channel. And today we're gonna to be doing somewhat of a follow-up to yesterday's video where I said that these people should be ashamed. And I was basically talking about a PC building company that ran a giveaway and then ended up not giving the prize of the giveaway to a small streamer who rightfully earned it through the random selection. This PC was intended to be given away to, I believe an ambassador of this company, AKA somebody who helps sell their products with like a customized code. They didn't give this PC, which was the gift that was being given away here to this streamer because quote-unquote she was too small she didn't have enough clout didn't have enough followers or whatever which was never any sort of prerequisite for this in the first place they had no follower cap or anything ever listed whatsoever before this all happened they just kind of arbitrarily decided afterwards that they didn't want to give the PC to her because she didn't have enough attention surrounding her twitch and whatnot so I made a video talking about this and a lot of people ended up talking about this including the streamer herself who made a Twitter thread about it which currently has nearly 30,000 likes. Multiple creators in the YouTube scene kind of came forward to try and step up and basically raise money or like offer to build her a computer for the trouble that she went through with this whole situation. And uh, there's some pretty big updates to talk about in this situation because the company behind all of this, Artisan Builds, has taken one of the biggest L's I've ever seen a company take in this situation. They've had companies that they're partnered with call them out. They've had massive Twitch streamers come out and basically talk about their experience with them. It's been getting reported on by mainstream outlets and in general, the public opinion has completely been crushed against this company. In my video, I said that this uh, was going to basically end up going bad for them. They were going to get a lot of horrible press for this and it wasn't going to be worth the trouble that they basically went through to try and avoid this. And that was absolutely true. I mean, 30,000 likes on the initial tweet thread. And then on top of that, all of everyone else basically kind of piling in on this and talking about it and whatnot. This company probably fucked up pretty big, man. Like they, they, I think really did a number on their business with this decision uh, because I had not personally even heard of them before this. This whole thing happened and I want to assume that a lot of other people were kind of under the same issue right like they didn't know who these people were until this situation kind of popped up in the first place but so multiple pretty massive business partners of artisan builds in the twitch community have actually severed their ties or are basically kind of reconsidering their ties with the company so OTK network which is actually an organization that was founded by creators Asmund Gold and Mizkiff along with others actually announced that they would be separating their company business ties with with Artisan Builds on Twitter with a statement. Uh, this all kind of unfolded on March 1st in terms of the Artisan Builds drama. But after it all happened, OTK Network revealed that they were parting ways with Artisan Builds after people in the community basically reached out to them and talked about the situation, which was a pretty large uh, partnership that they had as a company, right? And on top of that, popular Twitch streamers Nick Merckx and Pestily have revealed that they are also looking into their relationship with the company and potentially considering taking action by maybe even severing ties with them as well. These are two massive Twitch streamers that, you know, not having their business would be pretty massive, right? These are people who they genuinely can make sales. That was one of the big points that they uh, basically made against this woman that they scammed out of this computer. They pulled up her ambassador link or whatever and was like, oh, you haven't even generated a single click, LMAO. Like, you know, basically belittling her, saying that she's not really important to their company. Well, these people are important to your company. Having them on board and having them have an affiliate link is massive. And simply because they decided to talk down to a smaller streamer and treat them like shit and basically scam them, they've lost a pretty good uh, portion of business deals here. I mean, these are pretty massive deals for a company like this, you know? This is how you grow your brand, right? You, you partner with people like this. That's going to be helpful and not having them on their side anymore is definitely going to affect them. And it gets even worse. So Intel, who, you know, obviously makes like CPUs and whatnot, they actually sponsored the giveaway. They actually stepped in and disagreed with Artisan's Build's handling of this situation, which is pretty massive because like they literally sponsored that stream where this all happened. That's why you saw their products like shoved all over the screen and everything was because they were a sponsor. I would assume that Intel is probably one of their largest partners, right? Because they use Intel parts for a lot of their builds and that directly contributes to a massive part of their business. But also on top of that, you know, when they're sponsoring your giveaways and stuff like that, that's also huge because that goes further than just being like, I guess a business product, right? At that point, like you're a direct sponsor of this company. So your word also is somewhat aligned with theirs. And when they do something like this, people of course looked at Intel like, hey, uh, do you guys think this was cool? Intel wanted no part of that one, man. So apparently 
finally they stepped in and that's when we got an apology from the CEO, Noah Katz of Artisan Builds here. Hey Twitter Sphere, I'm really sorry for the way we did parts of the giveaway today. We've been given a lot of people, a lot of awesome free tech, and that's not going to stop. If you want to talk, I'm here. That's the kind of point of being so uh, live so much. Everyone in the affiliate and ambassador program is eligible to get free, awesome stuff and earn money from referrals. It costs nothing to join. You can always go and chat with me live on Twitch. I've talked for a long time about being transparent about everything. It's live after all. There's no filter. There's no PR team. There's just us. You can get a cake or a new SSD and remember we give back 100% of what we earn on Twitch to upgrade builds and do giveaways. No other company's doing it this way and it's not the easiest way. The easy way is to not be there for you but I've been there for years. I haven't done much of anything else. I love interacting with you all and I feel terrible that anyone didn't enjoy that process today. Please feel free to share ideas on how to improve. So this is one of the worst apologies I can imagine you dropping, right? I mean, didn't even really apologize for what actually happened at hand. Just, oh, I'm, I'm sorry you guys didn't enjoy the live stream today. Yeah, what about the part where you literally fucking bullied somebody for not having enough clout. What about that part, Noah? What about the part where you aired out one of your ambassadors live on stream and made fun of them because they weren't performing up to your fucking standards? Yeah, what about all that? Oh, no apology for that one, right, though? No, no, no way to take that one back all of a sudden, right? It's funny that he says, the easy way is to just not be there for you, but I've been there for years. Yeah, tell that to your fucking affiliate that you just aired out on stream and bullied. Why don't you tell them that you, you've been there for them for years, right? I have a feeling that a lot of people feel pretty not there for by you, right? So it's just bullshit. Uh, this is the most generic apology you could put out, you know, just trying to shift the blame, make it look like you didn't mean to do anything wrong, not really addressing what you did wrong in the first place. If I had to rate this apology out of 10, I'd give it a negative 46 out of 10. But on top of that, multiple people who have had some sort of interaction with the company have come forward to basically expose them for being fucking cheapskates and not knowing how to run their business properly in other areas of marketing and whatnot. So Artisan wanted to leverage my 10,000 plus followers on Twitch and my 55,000 followers on Twitter, but were only willing to give me partial credit towards a new purchase of one of their rigs. I would have had to buy in with my own money for their sponsorship. What a joke. These guys offered me one to $500 off their computers in return for a sponsorship. They wanted me to spend my money to buy a PC from them so I could be sponsored by them. I'm glad they're getting canceled because that was one of the most disrespectful things I'd ever experienced. All right, let me explain the problem to you guys here as an established creator, right? I have a million plus followers on YouTube, okay? So at this point in my career for a sponsorship deal, right? A company would have to offer thousands of dollars, just to put it simply, like to be as straightforward as I can be with you guys. That's thousands of dollars, okay? Any company that would offer me a sponsorship in which they'd give me a fucking discount on their product that I have to buy in order to sponsor it, that's no longer a sponsorship. At that point, you're asking me to purchase your product and give you a fucking product review. So yes, that is extremely disrespectful because, you know, in Frosty here, this is somebody that, you know, is a mutual on Twitter. We follow each other. He has a quarter million followers on Twitter. He was in 100 Thieves, you know what I mean? It's not like this is some fucking rando who nobody knows about. Frosty's very established in the the Twitch community. If you have 10,000 followers on Twitch and 55k like the other one did, you're established. Your brand at that point attracts more than, you know, oh, 100 to 500 dollars off in value. When you're marketing directly to that many people, you're talking about thousands of dollars at that point. Bare minimum. You know what I mean? Ju just an entry door at that rate. They're basically offering a discount. Like, th th this would be the equivalent, let's say you're walking down the street, right? And the local pizzeria comes up to you and they're like, hey man, uh, we'll give you $2 off this $25 pizza uh, if you just post a review of it on Instagram. The only difference is, is you have like 16 followers and these people have a fucking, you know, tens of thousands of followers. So they're backing of something means more. Any company that runs this way is either A, scamming people with a shitty product that they're not proud of, or B, it's ran by a complete fucking moron. And given the fact of what this guy just did to this small streamer by ripping her off on this stream, pissing off Intel, which is one of the biggest, you know, computer chip processors in the world, and also simultaneously pissing literally all of their customers off and all of the media that reports in their industry off, given the fact they did that, I'm gonna say this Noah guy might just be a fucking idiot. And I don't even feel bad saying it. Anyone who thinks that the, any of this being handled the way it is is fucking intelligent. I hope to God you run the competitors to my businesses in the future. That way I can absolutely dominate you. Because this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. No company that's reputable would ever offer a sponsorship and not give you the product. 
If Apple wanted me to review or sponsor the iPhone tomorrow, I better be getting a brand new iPhone in the fucking mailbox. It's that simple. You think people like Linus Tech Tips, you think they do that, you know, on a discount? You think that Apple or Samsung or whoever comes to them like, hey, review our phone and we'll give you a discount on the product. Absolutely not. They send them one for them, one for every one of their family members, one for everyone in their town. I don't, you know, they, they be sending that shit out like crazy, man. That's all I'm saying. So the L's just keep stacking up for artisan builds here. And, you know, it doesn't look like there's any end in sight at this point. The media's gotten a hold of it. PC Gamer, Game Rant, all these companies, all these people are reporting on this situation. Of course, you know, other people, other channels, me, we're all reporting on it. It's looking like it's going to be a rough couple weeks for Artisan Builds, man. Uh, just not really good handling of anything that I've been able to notice here. Shittiest apology I could imagine, uh, didn't address really anything, uh, multiple people from the community now calling them out for completely unrelated things, you know, just shitting on them for the management of their company, basically, and they pissed off probably their largest sponsor, too, in the process, so, hey, uh, Artisan Builds, if you guys need somebody to handle your brand represents, uh, representation and shit for you, I can point you to a few people, uh, don't, don't, don't feel free to sit around and keep fucking up anymore, I mean, it's incredible, though, because this all indicates indicates to me like because these people are talking about past stories this has been going on for a while it's not like artists and builds has been great for years and then in the last week or so they fucked up really more or less this has been going on for at least months like however long ago these people were getting these messages and stuff i don't know but it's just l after l for them so with that being said though thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel follow me over on twitter and twitch at sub to optimus make sure to check out shop opti down below i just released a new merchandise line there's so much new stuff water bottles candles all kinds kinds of stuff shirts hoodies we got hats we got sweatshirts we got it all over on shoptimus down below there's a link in the pinned comment and description buying a piece of merchandise you support the channel thousands of times more than just by watching like some ads or something on the video so thank you to everyone who's been buying merch and to those of you who will be buying merch after you've heard about it here and until my next video this is optimus well just clowning on artisan builds and signing out